Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are testing out not one, but two crazy lash extensions at home kits. And you may have seen me talk about these very briefly in my declutter of mascara video. I will link that below. And then I did mention that I was going to be testing out these crazy kits that I had never even tried, that I had meant to, but somehow kind of forgot in the mix of everything. And I figured today we would try one on one eye, one on the other. These are both kits that you can purchase on Amazon. They're around 30-ish dollars, but these claim are just outrageous to me. I mean, come on, look at her lashes. We all know this is a lie. <sighs> I am wounded. You have lied. This is a lie, right? I mean, this is just like the most ridiculous thing to put on the box of lashes. Now, if this was a box of false lashes, I could be like, oh wow, cool. Halloween. This is one of those kits where you first put on the base, then you put on fibers. They give you a little brush to kind of comb through your lashes. Um, you repeat the process and you're supposed to have the most incredible volume. Now I have tried these before, but I've immediately taken them off and not been a fan of them. We also have the Ample Lash, which I don't know why that is so hard for me to say, Ample Lash. It just sounds weird. Uh, this one says it will amplify your eyes and it will, in less than a minute, give you the most dramatic look ever. This one is made in Australia. This one is made in the US. Let's scoot the camera closer and see if we can get my lashes to look absolutely incredible like this. All right, guys, the first thing we're gonna go in with is the Miner, miner, you, you, you could, you do. Why can't I say either of these brands? Are you kidding me? Miraness. This is the fast fix solution for at home lash extensions. So this is step one. Oh Lord, that looks very fibery. Okay, I'm gonna curl my lashes. Just give them a little, a little curl. And I just lost a lash, make a wish. I feel really stressed out because I know you have to work fast with this. So I'm gonna have step two ready and we're just gonna coat the lashes. Okay, that went on really nice. I actually like that. There's nothing clumping. There As I'm saying, there's nothing clumping. There's nothing weird. This literally looks horrible. Oh my God. I don't wanna put that on my eyeball. Oh, this looks like lint off of a sock. Are you joking me? Ew. So when you pull it out, a lot of the fibers come out on the brush. Wow. Oh wow, how am I gonna, oh my God, it's not even going back in the tube. All right, we're doing this. Oh my God, wish me luck. I don't wanna go blind. I'm a contact lens wearer, why am I making this video? Okay, whilst gel is wet, pat on silky brush, lash fibers, gently soap. Gently separate, oh, it's in my eye. Gently separate with comb. Okay, it's already in, it's actually in my eyeball. If you can see it on my eye, oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. It's like all up in my eyes. Wow, so when you comb it through, it gets all over your face. Great. Let's set it with some more mascara. I don't think I like this, you guys. I mean, I think it is making my lashes longer, but this is a freaking mess. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is have step one and two like right by each other, and I'm gonna quickly do this really fast, and then I'm gonna comb it, and then I'm gonna set it. I think you just need to work faster. Is it dramatic? Leave that in the comments below. Let's continue the torture of Tati's eyeballs. So we're gonna use the Ample Lash, Ample Lila Lash, and we are going to try to open it. Okay, so this one does not come with a little comb. It just has the two products. So you start out with the Ample Lash Ample Mascara. It's an amplifying mascara serum. And then you put the fibers on top and then you go back to the mascara right away. So basically the same thing, except for we're not gonna be brushing through any of our lashes. Okay, straight out the gate, this mascara is a lot more lengthening than the other one. Tarantula City. Holy crap, that is like a very clumpy mascara. So maybe the picture on the box is accurate because that is clump. All right, this is not picking up as much fibers as the other one did. Woo, Ooh, it's getting on there though. 
Oh, this is a look. So this one is not getting as on my face as this one did, clearly. I've left that all there so we compare the two sides. So now I'm gonna go back to the mascara and seal all of this clumpy mess in. Do you know what happens when I try out products like this and I do a full day wear test? I run into subscribers and I know that they look at me and they're like, oh, queen of makeup, mm-hmm. She's looking really good in public. I saw Tati in public. You should have seen her ugly ass lashes. <laughs> Dude, you guys, side to side, this one definitely is doing a whole lot more with a lot less mess. So, so far I would say this is the winner, but this is just not my go-to look. Like personally, I think this looks really clumpy. I am looking in a magnified mirror though, so I'm gonna have to look at the footage, um, you know, scooted back a little bit, but close up, this looks bad. Oh my God, it itches my eyeball. So here is more of a zoomed out look at everything and you definitely can tell that this eye is doing a whole lot better than this one. So I already know this is the favorite. This guy, I don't like it. This was horrible. It went in my eye. These fibers are literally like all over my desk. It's disgusting. Um, but this one, you know, I could get on board with. So the next thing to do for me is just to wear this for the rest of the day, see if it falls apart, if it gets in my eyes, if it starts irritating, because I do have pretty sensitive eyes and I will be able to know right away if the fibers are causing a problem. And we will just update from there. How did my hair turn into such a wreck more progressively throughout the day? Like I need some dry shampoo in a hurry. Okay, that's not what we're here to discuss. We're here to discuss my lashes. So it is now almost 10 o'clock at night and I still have a lot of curl and hold and va va voom over here on this side. And this side is just pathetic. We don't like it, it's out of here. I'm over it. Um, the second those little fibers kind of went all over my face and in my eye, I was over it. But I have to say, I am so surprised that this one over here I would totally use again. I know, I did not think I would be a believer in this. I have never found a kit that I've actually enjoyed, but I'm gonna scoot you guys in so you can see exactly what we're dealing with. I think for all day wear and the fact that it still looks this good, that I would go through those two steps. I think it's pretty cool. So uh, let's look at my face at the end of the day. Just try to be nice in the comments. I it's the very end of the day, but I'm gonna zoom you guys in. Do you hey. know what I think? Oh God, no, <laughs> no way. I think your lashes, I've seen them look better. James. I have. I like this one a lot. This one's more tarantula -y. This one's actually prettier. No, it's not. Okay, fine, it's a little bit tarantula like but it is more curled and more frameable of my eyes, and it didn't torture me with fibers in my eyeball, so I like this side a lot better. There. Mirror drop. <laughs> so here we have the extreme close up and you can see that this side is definitely a little more clumpy and it is a little bit more spider lashy, but it did hold a curl. There are no flakes whatsoever and it does give you an extra boost that you wouldn't just get from just your regular old boring mascara. So it's kind of an in-between. It's not gonna be as great as a false lash, but it is a little bit better than just your typical mascara. So this is kind of cool. And uh, that is the Ample Lash. Ample Lash. Uh, you can find both these on Amazon, but this is the only one that I would purchase. This one over here pretty much is a joke because it got in my eyeball and really hurt bad. So um, huge deduction of points for that. The application was worse with this one. And then also it just kind of drooped and just didn't do as much. Like I feel like Lash Paradise or my Essence Mascara would do a better job than this did. Uh, so pass, but you can definitely see there is a difference. All right, what do you guys think? Do you like this or do you think that it is too clumpy? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, do you think that it's worth it or this is too high maintenance for the result? I'm curious to hear your opinions, so please leave them in the comment section. And if you enjoyed me trying out two products and battling them out on my eyes and wearing two different makeups throughout the day because you know I could do that more, uh, give the video a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. And that would be awesome. And I would love you for it. So I'm gonna go and I hope you guys are enjoying your day. I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. Mwah.